Do you ever wonder what is the best workflow there is for developing multi-service applications? Keep watching. Hello and welcome to the Tilt channel. I'm Elle and I work at Tilt. We're focused on the development experience side of Kubernetes, so you can have a really good time when working with microservices. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the really cool things Tilt can do for you. So welcome to the Tilt experience. The first thing you'll notice when working on a project with Tilt is that there is no onboarding cost to spinning up your application. Instead, you simply tilt up. This is going to start up the Tilt web UI and Tilt's going to build and deploy every service in your application without requiring any input from a developer. So because all the mechanics are already set, when a new developer joins the team, they can immediately focus on what really matters to them. Do you ever wonder when you're working on your application, how is it that all of your services are doing? What is their status, their logs? Are they healthy? Tilt makes it easy to see it all at a glance. On the Tilt dashboard, I can click any service. I can look at its logs. I can look at any alerts it might have, any errors. I can see how it came to be how it deployed, whether it was built, and if there are any errors, I can see them here as well. So if you're used to check in on your services one at a time, manually, and type a bunch of commands with kubectl to see all of your services and how they're doing, you don't have to do that anymore. Now you can just use the Tilt UI. Probably what Tilt is most known for is how it live reloads your application on every code change. So here's the front end to my application. I can make changes to its code. And just like magic, it updates live without me having to type any commands by hand. And this works all the way across my app, not only for the front end. So let's change a backend service. Here, I'm going to add a red filter to the image I selected. It's going to turn it red. I can change the code on my backend now so that this filter, instead of turning my image red, it's going to turn my image green. And when I try it again, there you go, it's green. My service instantly updated in the background, so I don't have to type any commands by hand. As soon as I change a surface, it's live. You've probably seen this in front-end frameworks running on localhost, but with Tilt, you can do this for any part of your application, front-end, back-end, anything, and it works on containers on Kubernetes. Tilt also gives you really good visibility into errors when they happen, and you don't have to play detective. You can see what happened right away. Let me show you. Here, I'm going to create a compiler by writing some gibberish in the middle of my Go file. Tilt's going to try and rebuild it, but it's going to fail, and I can instantly see what happened. And here, is, here are the complaints from my Go compiler. This time, let's cause a YAML error. So I'm going to go hello error in the middle of a Kubernetes manifest and Tilt's going to try and parse that and of course it's not going to work and it instantly tells me there's a, an error on your YAML file. But perhaps the most interesting case is when you're working on one service and what you do causes another service to break. That can be a lot of work to track down. Here, I'm going to make a change to my Muxer service and I'm going to add some gibberish to a message that it's going to send to another service. I made the change, now I try to run my application and it failed. But when I look at it, it's healthy, it didn't die, it didn't restart. There were no compile errors and no YAML errors. So what caused that error? In this case, you know what went wrong since I explained that I sent a malformed message to another service, but normally this would take some detective work to track down manually. With Tilt, that's not an issue. I can go to the Tilt UI and I can see an alert on the glitch service. I can instantly come here and see that glitch went boom. And if I go to the glitch service, I can see that the problem is in the error handling of a separate service. So Tilt makes it very easy to see when one thing breaks another thing and you don't have to play kubectl detective anymore. Now, one thing's for sure, your app is unique. It has lots of features and requirements that are unique to your project. 
and while Tilt gives you a lot out of the box, there are times when you just need to be able to create your own functionality, and Tilt lets you very easily do that. I have a history button here that shows me all the image manipulation that I already did, but let's say I want to flush my database. I can very easily add a new button here, flush database, and I can just run it. And when I do that, I can come back here and check my history again, and it's all gone. So anything you need that Tilt doesn't do out of the box, you can very easily add it. As we saw, Tilt gives you an overview of your application, and it makes tracking errors down super easy. It reloads your application and code change, and it makes it trivial to add custom extra functionality when you need it. In addition, it makes onboarding new developers so much easier. To learn more about Tilt, check out tilt.dev. And to learn how to implement the exact workflow you just watched, don't miss the next video in the series, Recreating the Tilt Experience. Thank you for watching.